in our setup we have the Intuos 5 tablet, we have a very basic Bamboo tablet, and the Cintiq, which is also a screen tablet, and of course the monitor of the laptop. All of this can be seen and found in the GNOME Settings Demon Wacom plugin, where we can see all three tablets being represented here. When a tablet is mapped to an output, or in the case of a screen tablet or tablet Cintiq, a transformation matrix is applied to the input device to match the output. By moving the stylus on the Cintiq, the pointer matches exactly the stylus position only on the Cintiq. If we change the layout so that the Cintiq now moves to the left of the main laptop monitor using the XRONDA plugin in GNOME Settings Demon as we see now, moving the Cintiq from right to left. Then by moving the stylus on the Cintiq, we can check that the pointer still match the stylus position, which proves that the transformation matrix has been updated accordingly, which is our goal. Moving back to the original configuration still works as the transformation matrix is changed again accordingly. When a tablet is mapped to an output, changing the orientation of the output also changes the orientation of the tablet now. To do that, we shall map the Intros 5 to the laptop monitor, by doing so, the Intros 5 tablet now only matches the laptop monitor. Next, we shall change the XRONDA configuration of the laptop to rotate the screen by 180 degrees. Such a rotation will not show in the screencast, but by looking at the screen, you can see that now it's rotated, and moving the stylus on the Intuos 5 tablet still matches the pointer position, which means that the tablet has been rotated accordingly to the rotation of the output device. Now the tablet itself may be rotated initially if set to left-handed mode. In that case, the buttons which are initially located on the left are on the right and the tablet itself is turned over. Rotating a tablet in left-handed mode should adjust rotation accordingly so that the device is still in left-handed mode after rotation. Even after rotating the device in left-hand mode, the orientation is still correct and matches the screen orientation. It is now possible to match the aspect ratio of the output monitor with the input tablet when the tablet is mapped to the output. In the case of this tablet, which is a 4 to 3 tablet, associating that tablet with the Cintiq monitor, which is a 16 by 9 monitor, we see that the entirety of the device matches the screen. However, the aspect ratio of both devices do not match because the tablet is roughly 4 to 3 and the output 16 by 9. By selecting keep aspect ratio in the UI, the area of the device is now cropped to match the aspect ratio of the Cintiq, which is the monitor 
the tablet is mapped to. So only the upper area of the tablet is actually active. A new feature has been added to allow switching monitors using the tablet buttons. To do so, select the button mapping in the UI and choose a new action, switch monitor, in the list. Now, by pressing the button, the mapped monitor can be switched between different monitors or the entire screen. Notice the pointer jumps from one monitor to the other when the button is pressed. Although this feature is not planned for GNOME 3.6, the following demonstrate the OSD window which can be selected in the button action drop list. In this case, this tablet is mapped to the laptop monitor so that by pressing the ISD help button that we defined before, a window shows on that monitor and gives an indication of which button will trigger what action. The OSD window will show up on the monitor mapped to the device. By switching monitors, the OSD window will also show which monitor is mapped to the device. Another benefit of the OSD window is to show when a device is configured in left-handed mode, because in that case, the ordering of the buttons is inverted so that the button 1 will not be the lower left button in our example. This will also reflect in the OSD window. By using the OSD window, the user can quickly identify what button is mapped to what action which is even more convenient in left-handed mode.